Hi Sagittarius, it's me G1 Rider with G1 Insights and today is basically um, your life and love energy for the month of July 2019, okay? So I'm going to get right into it. I don't want to waste any of your time. Excuse me, I do have a um, cough drop in my mouth. Uh, my throat's been irritating me. Okay, so let's get started. It seemed like there was some type of, oh guys, wait. This is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I wasn't really doing Venus readings, but for you guys, I really felt strongly about that. So, here it is, okay? Um, it seemed like there has been, or there is, or possibly will be, some deceit along the way, okay? Or maybe, whatever the deceit was, I feel like it's passing through, okay? Or if you are currently, or if you were currently dealing with that in the month of June, going into the month of July, then then that's what it is. Like, it's actually passing through now. I feel like this is a season for you to be um, more reflective of your own will, like your own character, um, how you present yourself to the rest of the world. And the reason why I'm saying that is because there seemed like whatever challenges it was in, reg in regards to... Um, traveling or moving or you may have had a desire to move somewhere or to get something in motion okay and this has been kind of stuck or delayed or perhaps if that has not been happening for you guys and this may happen okay there may be some unexpected delays or cancellations um try to remain flexible okay because especially during mercury retrograde is it's very possible that something will be delayed or there will be a cancellation of something. Um, but try to remain flexible and be ready to adjust, okay? You can always start over and do something new outside of the box, something that you've never done before. You can always start over. So even if it does feel like you are stuck, the universe is telling you that you're not as stuck as you believe, okay? And so either way, I do see that you... Um, there's a lot of miscommunication here, too. Like, so if there is someone that you guys, maybe there was a lot of miscommunication between you and the spouse, or maybe there's miscommunication at work or something, and I just see you really, um, <laughs> trying to take their head off in a sense, okay? Be very cautious of that, because the first week of July... We had the new moon in Cancer, okay? And then we also have, okay, around July 8th, Venus will also go into Cancer. So this is going to be one of those seasons where you want to communicate as much as you can, but Mercury going retrograde is probably not the best time to do so. Mercury is going to go retrograde July 7th until July 31st, and... Probably, I would just recommend that you guys wait at least until like the first week of August to have some extra clarity. So if there is something that you really want to do, whether it's moving, buying something, or investing in something, even though July is a trick, I mean, normally this is a great time to like move forward with something, but for a lot of you fire signs, it's not. And the reason why is because Mercury Retrograde has a, a way of slowing things down, um, something from the past may come up, something regarding legal issues or um, documentation, something that you forgot to sign, something that you didn't look over properly. Um, something or someone from the past may even be trying to return as well. This could even involve, like, your children, okay? This could be a situation involving your children or children that you care for. I see a lot of you may end up working in the field of working with children. A lot of you may even be um, thinking or deciding to have children, and maybe that's what all the fuss has been about lately. Whatever it is that you were asking for in the month of June and you felt like it was not being acknowledged, I feel like it's going to happen for you here in the month of July. It's going to happen, but it's asking you to just be a bit more patient with the process and be more patient with yourself. Try not to get into the, the feeling of someone's betrayed you or someone's lied to you, okay? This is going to be the season where you want to confirm everything. Even if someone told you 
make sure that they write it down, make sure that you sign it, that they sign it, make sure that every aspect of communication is covered. Okay, because with that new moon in Cancer, that's going to make you feel really creative, um, wanting to dive in and do something new, refreshing and exciting. And you love money. So any type of opportunity where it's like, okay, you know, you, you don't mind going after it. The problem comes in where it's like you feel like somebody or maybe even a few people is not being totally honest or they're not being totally real with you you get what i'm saying like they're not really like they're telling you things but they, it's like they're not telling you like the whole truth and that alone may irritate you because you hate a liar so with that being said try your best to just intuitively think about things like i want you to embrace the moment i want you to relax I want you to think about everything that is happening, and then I want you to take action, okay? Because this season, it is the month of action, literally. Like, it is the perfect season for you to dodge your head, to do what you have to do. My only recommendation is that you guys take your time, look through all the documentations, make sure that you basically cross your T's and dot your I's, look at every single Thing that's not really being pointed out to you. Look at the small details. Normally, Mercury goes retrograde in Virgo, like in his home sign, but it's not doing that this time around. Now, it's going retrograde in Leo. I mean, going retrograde in Cancer, but it's going to end in Leo, which is your sister sign. So, by the end of July, you will feel a lot better because now Mercury going retrograde is going to be in your sister sign which will open up the lines of communication a lot more. But that first two weeks of July is going to be like, blah, blah, blah. Can we get over this already? Um, a lot of annoyances. I would just try to really separate myself from people that is draining my energy because I feel like you guys might be a bit drained from either this uh, situation or this person. Okay, for a lot of you, the energy is going to play out differently. For a lot of you, this is a spouse. You're trying to think or not whether you can trust this person or trust this individual with your life, basically. They want you to sign something. And again, Mercury is going to go retrograde on July 7th or 8th, give or take a day. And it will end around the 31st of July. Give it at least until like that first or second week of August. And then the clarity will return. The lines of communication will be a lot better. Okay? But if you have like earth energy in your birth chart, like either as a moon or rising, or even as a Jupiter or maybe your Mars is in an earth sign, then this may be a lot better for you. It won't be so like, you know? There won't be so many delays. There won't be so many headaches. The best way to make it through this Mercury retrograde is to literally be on top of everything. Whatever you need to do that is drastic and huge and major, like moving or buying something or investing in something, do that before Mercury go retrograde. Like, don't do it directly in the middle unless it's absolutely necessary, okay? If it's not life-threatening, if it's not absolutely necessary, then... Listen, don't even do it to yourself, okay? Process. Take your time to process everything. What is happening in my world right now? Who am I dealing with? Who am I spending my money with? Who am I spending my time with? Okay? Do some a lot of self-reflecting because that is what's going to help you get through the next few weeks in July, okay? Your intuition was also blocked for a while, too. Like, especially between your crown chakra and your third eye. Pay attention to what's not being said to you, okay? I keep saying that to you for some reason. Pay attention. Pay attention to your cycles and the rhythm of your body. Like, your, you know, inside and your spirit. Pay attention to how your body responds to stress or different um, cycles of the moon, you know, pay attention to that. Because a lot of times when we have new moons, like if you notice every first week of every month, um, you get your menstrual or you get back aches or, you know, begin to start paying attention to how your body is responding to the different moon changes and the different moon cycles. Pay attention to that because it will help you further for the next six, I mean, for the next five months, really, right? So it will help you. 
the past six months, we're over that. So this is no time to really dwell on who said what and who betrayed who and who lied to who. We're not focused on that anymore. And you don't like to focus on that anymore, right? So that is what this cancer energy does to us. It makes us think a lot about the past, about children, about people that passed along, about family or ex-girlfriends and ex-boyfriends. It makes us reminisce a lot about things or... Um, Again, with Mercury Retrograde, you may end up digging into the past anyway. So the fact that it's starting off in Cancer, this is like a lot of deja vu popping back up. Like a lot of deja vu, a lot of um, looking deeper into things, trying to figure out where life is taking you, trying to figure out where you're going. You may bump into someone and they just suddenly uh, remind you of someone else. Like, it's just going to be a really lot of uh, deja vu moments during this season, especially the first week or two of July, okay? July 15th or 16th, we will have the full moon in Capricorn. That is when you can kind of expect clarity to be a little better just because Capricorn energy is very direct and very straightforward. So I see here to tell you not to back down, you know. Stand up for how you feel, but do it in a way that is out of love and out of genuine care. So that way the people that you are speaking with won't be offended. So speak your mind and stand up and speak your truth, but do it out of love. That is what this energy is saying here. If, it, when it, if it's a situation involving your children, I would say, you know, of course, whatever was blocked or neglected or anything that you were denied of in the past, this is the perfect season to go after it. But this time, you're going to do things a little different. You're going to be more straightforward, more honest about what you really desire. And then you will get what you want when it's all said and done. You will get the okay this season. So the universe is blessing you in tremendous ways. But I feel like this is more of a um, direct spiritual journey okay because i feel like a lot of you are thinking or thinking about if you should even do business with this person if you should even get back with this person you have a lot of different thoughts about love and a lot of and for some of you not all of you anyway but a lot of you are also thinking a lot about your finances and your home and personal life as well and you're really trying to decide if this is the right move for you and the universe is saying yes you can go after what you want but this time you're going to do things differently you're going to be more honest and you're going to be more straightforward. You're going to set the right path. You're going to do things the right way. If you are separated or your children is not with you, this is going to be the time where you might decide to um, bring your children along. Okay, you may decide to go to custody, go to a custody hearing. I just feel like a lot of you are dealing with some type of legal issue, okay? Um, and if it's not necessarily, like, legal in a bad way of course this could be something simple as marriage maybe you are now marrying into a family where there are children maybe your spouse has a child or two um and i see that there's been a lot of discussion about that a lot of discussion about your finances your home children so this is really about things that you value things that are close to you so it's really important that when you deliver your message this season, just remember during Mercury Retrograde, our communication is not always the best. Sometimes people miscommunicate. Sometimes they argue. They get frustrated. Double check your emails because someone may say to you, hey, I sent you the email last week. You were supposed to be here today at 9 o'clock. And you might be like, well, I didn't know I was supposed to be there. So double check your email. Double check your messages, your voicemail, your call logs. Make sure, okay, if you were waiting on someone to call you and they did not call you make sure that you are the one that reach out to them it is very important that you try your best to keep communication as clear as possible on every level spiritually physically emotionally financially verbally it doesn't matter try your best okay I know that the throat chakra is really important during the season, so you might even see me wearing a lot of my chakras during that time I took them off though actually while talking to you because I wanted my wrists to relax but I want you guys to understand that it's really, really important to stay grounded as much as possible. So if you do have any earth energy in your birth chart, this will be really amazing for you, okay? If you have any um, water in your birth chart, this will also be really good for you because it will help you to kind of smooth easily and, you know, you won't be so frustrated. You could be able to relax. But if you have air energy in your birth chart, then this may kind of, you know, because air signs love to communicate and fire signs like to as well. But you guys are a lot more impulsive, which can, you know, that's going to bring the drama. 
So if you have any air or, um, yeah, if you have any air in your birth chart, try your best to just, whoosa, okay, breathe. <laughs> So I love you, Sagittarius. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions or concerns or comments, please put it below. I would love to know what you guys are thinking and feeling, but keep it love and light. Thank you. Bye.